What's up everybody, the poets here. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, being healthy, doing all that social distancing stuff. And uh, welcome to my kitchen. This is quarantine kitchen episode where I actually brought my office PC a few weeks ago uh, home so that I could do some more work at home. And um, so this has been kind of interesting because I just updated my whole Wi-Fi. So if you missed that video, check that out. I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, but I upgraded to Wi-Fi 6, which is amazingly fast and it's getting me able to be outside, you know, uh, to do some work outside, be by the pool, you know, have a cigar in the patio area. It, it's a very strong signal. And so with this office PC, normally it was plugged in uh, using Ethernet cable in my office. And so over here, I don't want to be dragging like a 50 foot cable to get this thing on the Internet. So I'm just using the motherboard Wi-Fi, which comes with this little thing and it's a two by two, um, meaning that there's you know two antennas technically in this little tiny thing. But this is a um, Gigabyte Ors Master Z390 motherboard though. So it's a quite, quite a nice uh, motherboard overall. It does have um, what they call Wave 2, but basically it's 802.11ac. So Wi-Fi 5 in a way, but my whole setup is Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 5 is perfectly fine. You know, it's, it's very fast if you don't have a lot of, you know, obstacles, you're not trying to really go too far compared to Wi-Fi 6, we'll put it that way. So 2x2 two two is, is decent and, you know, this antenna, you know, it's doing the job. I'm getting on the internet, but there's lost, uh, there's opportunity costs going on right there. So what I want to do is I have this older uh, Asus, um, geez, it's a PCE 88 802.11ac 4x4 uh, Wi-Fi adapter with four, as you can see, uh, antennas. So I'm gonna kind of do a little speed test to see if it's worth it, even though this is still 802.11ac, just like this is, having four antennas over two antennas, four by four, two by two, which is gonna be faster. I have no idea. So this would be kind of fun just to see if it's worth it for you to spend a little bit of money on uh, an external, you know, Wi-Fi adapter type of thing. It does have an internal card as well that you slide into the PCIe slot. And uh, that's it. It's very simple. So you just plug these into the card, just like you would plug these into the motherboard. And that's it. So we're going to see, test it out, show you the speeds with this as well as that. And then, you know, you can make your own decisions. So far, um, yeah, this thing is beefy. Oh, and they're magnetic. All right, you can see right here that it's at 866 megabits per second. It's very strong Wi-Fi signal. And I'll even click down here. You know, so it's showing 802.11ac. And therefore, it's going pretty well. Um, let's do a speed test and go from there. Ping is nice. Getting some good speeds. This is also an 8700K over here um, with uh, 64 gigs of RAM. So plenty of power to do whatever I need to do. And we maxed out at almost 600 megs per second download. Looks like upload is pretty much gonna give me the max for uh, Spectrum Gigabit. It's, it always kind of bounces between 30 and 40 uh, as the maximum so so that's it almost 600 down 25 up 12 ping all right so that was pretty decent speeds almost 600 download for the motherboard the gigabyte ors masters z390 master and um, yeah i'm happy with those speeds but i could be happier so now it's time for the asus pce ac 88 4x4 802 to 11 ac to be plugged in Asus, get your name thing right, Jesus. This is what the Wi-Fi adapter looks like. So it's got four pins there, nice little heat sink, and it's just gonna go right into the PCI slot, right in there. Right, right, in, right in there. Yeah. It's 
alive. So we now have the Asus PCE AC88 4x4 installed. And, you know, simple process, slide it right in, put on the screw, that's it. And, um, and then, of course, the, the four things in the back, got to screw those in. So this is jumping between about, you know, 1.3, 1.4 gigabytes per second, all the way up to 2.1 gigabytes per second. So really happy with that. Huge improvement. Uh, the other one from the Gigabyte Aorus Master Z390 was about 866. So that's a nice improvement. And right now the speed tests, eh, about the same because the bottleneck is a uh, gigabit internet that I have. So no matter how fast the Wi-Fi is, um, still gonna be limited to whatever speed Spectrum decides to give me at that moment. So that's the lesson for today, boys and girls. Um, you might want faster speeds, but you get what you get and don't get upset. But the nice thing about this is my home network now if I want to transfer files to or from this thing, it's going to be blazing fast because of these almost up to 2.1 gigabits per second speeds. Amazing. So that's it with my kitchen quarantine content. We say that four times fast. Uh, with my office PC here. And overall, I really like the performance of this Asus uh, PCE AC88 4x4 802.11 AC. A ridiculous name. Um, but obviously it's outperforming the Gigabyte Aorus Master Z390 here. Um, but this is a great motherboard. If you just want some boosted speeds as opposed to just using your motherboard Wi-Fi, this is definitely a way to go. Um, and it's going to enhance your you know home Wi-Fi network as well. So I'll put links for everything down below that I, that I used here. Um, this curve screen is a Samsung curve screen. Um, this was really cheap. I got it refurbished. So you know save money where you can for the office definitely uh, but other than that thank you guys very much if you like this video please hit that like button and feel free to subscribe i'm growing this channel having a lot of fun with it bringing a lot more interesting content this actually has liquid metal on it this is an 8700k that i've overclocked so i deleted it uh, scraped off all the gunk put liquid metal on it enhanced the temperatures by like 20 degrees uh, and also put an aftermarket copper ihs on there as well from rocket cool so yeah, this thing kind of flies. I can bench this at 5.4 gigahertz when it's on water. Right now it's got cheapo air and a cheapo case. So throw all that out the window, but it's still nicely overclockable. I'll leave it at five gigahertz right now at 1.3 volts. So I'm rambling because that's gonna go into the next video probably, or one after that, or one after that. Either way, I will see you guys in the next one. Please stay safe, cover your face, social distancing, wash your hands, and you know, just be good people, all right? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.